so you want to learn the one arm push up. Well, let's first figure out where you're at. I want you to tell me which of these exercises you can do eight or more of right now. So you might be tempted to train with a progression that you can only do one or two reps of, but training with this exercise has a much higher chance of injury and over fatigue. If you look at it solely from a risk versus reward standpoint, training with low reps isn't worth it in the long run, and you'll end up saving time not getting injured. And trust me, I know this isn't as fun, but it wouldn't be smart to pretend that this isn't true. So now that we know what exercise we should be working with, we need to figure out how much we should be doing every week. We're gonna use this formula, and you can use this as your main pushing movement in whatever plan you're currently doing. As for how many sets you should be doing in a week, I think if you train twice a week, four to five sets per day is good. If you're doing three times a week, two to three sets is fine. Now I wouldn't say this volume is set in stone, but it's a good starting off point for most people in my opinion. So let's go through a quick example. Let's say I could do nine archer push-ups on both my right and left arms. With this formula, we'd be doing six reps for two sets three times a week. By the way, I made an infographic that's linked down in the description that goes over some of the main topics that I cover in this video, and it even includes a sample workout plan that you might find helpful. All right, so how do I make progress? I hear you yelling. And that's a great question. There's a few different ways that we could do it with this exercise plan. We can add reps, sets, slow down the speed of the movements that you're doing. Uh, using a tempo is a great way to do this or just increasing the difficulty of the progression that you're doing. And just a quick note I wanna add about progression is that you can't add one rep every week and expect to be able to do 52 more reps at the end of the year. It's not how progression works, it's not a straight line. This is really important for your mentality when you're having bad days to stay motivated. All right, so let's talk about form standards for the one-arm push-up. We should look like a straight line from the side. Our legs should be around shoulder width apart. Keep in mind, the wider your legs go, the easier the push-up will be. Your chest should be squared with the floor, not twisting or pushing to the side. You should also keep enough protraction to keep your shoulder neutral and not sinking down through it. If you record yourself and find that you're drooping in your push-ups, this may be a lack of strength in your scapula. I'd suggest doing scapular push-ups like these to build up the necessary strength for the progression you're trying to use. And I understand wanting to fudge on your form a little, but this should never come at the cost of injury or pain. If you're getting any pinching pain in your wrist, your shoulder, or your chest, this is your body telling you that it's not ready for the amount of stress that you're putting on it right now. Any wrist or forearm pain that you're feeling could be helped out by a proper wrist warm-up. I'm gonna link some Tom Merrick videos as he has some really good ones on the topic. You can also use something to keep your wrist in a neutral position, like push-up grips or parallettes. This will keep your wrists a lot happier than they would be in a normal push-up position. So I know that's a ton of information that I just threw at you, so feel free to ask any questions that you might have down in the comments below, and I'll make sure to help you out. But that's basically it for the video. I'm gonna go test to see how heavy of a weighted one-arm push-up I could do. Uh, wish me luck, but thanks for watching. Make sure to turn that like button blue down below if I helped you out, and subscribe for more information like this. All right, I'll see you when I see you.
So I'm just finishing up editing the video and I counted up all the push-ups that I did while filming this. I did 60 regular push-ups and over 20 one-arm push-ups before that last clip that you just saw. So it might be worth retesting my weighted one-arm max when I'm fresh again. But thanks so much for staying till the end of the video. I really appreciate it and good luck on your training. Peace.